Yes, mate. Oh, Jack. Hey! <laughs> you got it. No way. Oh, my. <laughs> Let's get out of here. They're falling literally. <laughs> All right, so good morning, you lot. Welcome back to another video. So today I am sort of Dorset Way. We're on Frasher Lane and we've got a pretty sick little tree spot to rip this morning. We've also got Mumba FPV. I am now the resident pilot of Jack's channel. But basically, Neil is going to be taking me to all the spots this weekend. So should we send a pack here first and then head somewhere? You're going to love this. Let's get today started with. So I'm going to be flying my 5 inch freestyle drone for this little spot just because I think it could be quite flowy. Alright, let's get the goggles on. I think Neil's going to spectate me as well. Audience mode, channel 1, player in. Okay. Flying. Anywhere you want, pal. Pick a spot, any spot. Woohoo! Yes, mate! <laughs> Done some speed moves from right back there. Oh, oh yeah. you dab the floor there! <laughs> <laughs> oh, where did that branch come from? <laughs> you got to fall a little bit further, I think, before you do anything tighter. There you go. Yes, mate. Oh! oh my <laughs> no way. Oh, oh yes, oh. mate. <laughs> so this is how you should wake up every morning. Yes, mate. We're going in for trippy spins, are we, son? And what tree do you think you can trippy spin? That one right there, I think. And you can swap to the other next one. Yes, mate. Oh, sh Jack. Hey! <laughs> what the? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> mate, that was so clean. <laughs> I can't believe you done that. See, this guy earlier was saying, "Oh, I don't know if I can, <laughs> I can get the trippy spins." <laughs> oh, man. Wow, that was savage. That was epic. Wet grass. <laughs> Hey, that was locked on, man. What the hell? So literally about 10 minutes ago, I said, can you do trippy spins, Jack? And he went, I don't know. <laughs> Apparently I can. Basically, I'll explain what a trippy spin is. So it's pretty much. It, it, I don't even know if I explain it, man. It's just trippy. That's what it is. It's trippy as hell. Neil so will explain it. Put your arm up, be a tree. This is the tree. So you've got to approach it. You've got to spin round. And now you're looking at the tree upside down and your propellers will be facing the tree. And now it defies gravity massively. <laughs> we have no idea how it works, but it does. Somehow it does, so yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to introduce my buddy, Jackman93. He's changed he his name to Jack Flies Drones, but he's still Jackman93. <laughs> So we are currently walking to the next little location, which I've got absolutely no clue what it is because you are taking me there. You're gonna and have, Jack is as well. You're gonna have a surprise of your life, mate. I love it. Should I give you a clue? Go on. They've just shot Star Wars there. Yeah, cool. I've got absolutely no clue still. <laughs> Brilliant. So basically, I had a little bit of a history lesson from Jack. So not long ago, they filmed Star Wars here, but unfortunately, they ruined the scenery. They mashed the rocks and they made it really unsafe with all the rocks falling. So they've now got a sign saying it's closed due to Star Wars killing it, unfortunately. It is a 25 minute walk to the place we're going to. It's about a 40 minute walk. Oh, is it? Not really. Oh. <laughs> a little bit tight, but... Here we are. This is looking pretty sick. If you look at how loose all the rocks are, that's all that's drying out. 
and all these bits are apparently falling, so we've got to be a little bit careful of where we go. Yeah, they're pretty oh, that's, that's been hit by awesome. something. That's, that's Star Wars, that is. <laughs> that bit right there is hanging on as well. Yeah, it looks like it's just like a bag of rock that's stuck on the edge. Yeah, look at this one here, look at this whole face. Crap all the way up. Jesus. Oh my. <laughs> Let's get out of here. They're falling literally. I'm hoping that the sound of Jack's seven inch drone doesn't like, cause an avalanche. <laughs> yeah, we'll go this way, mate. That one does not look good. That one's hanging on. That's cool. Definitely going to get some cool shots cruising along these. I think it's going to look really cool. Straight out to the ocean. Hey, that drop down there would look sick as a shot. Last time I flew by the ocean, I crashed in it and I lost my drone. Hopefully today I won't lose any. So this is the current location. I am going to get the drone up and see how it looks in the air. Oh, took the hat off, sweating a little bit. Let's get up in the air and not crash. All right, take it off. It's actually so scary, like flying over the sea. <laughs> Even though you fly over the ground and you don't get scared. This is just think it's horrible. Fall out Intense going over the water. <laughs> Good, I didn't crash in the sea this time. So Neil just plugged his drone in to get all the satellites on his goggles. How's it looking? Oh, it's looking wicked, man. I've got 12 satellites. Uh, they're all locked in. My cold start's done. Whew. Let's send it then. You are. Oh, God, that just looks delicious. <laughs> Oh, I've got a boat hooning it towards us. You getting a shot of that boat? He got it. No way. <laughs> That's sick. That's sick. That's it. That was just perfect timing. That was such perfect timing. So that'll be a perfect loop. Perfect loop, mate. That'll be sick. Oh, that was just dreaming. Hiya. Man. Yeah, man, that was sick. Recording still, please. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. I love it every time, man. I love the same excitement every time. As long as it's recording, I'm happy. Woo! I ended it on the exactly the same line as what I started that line on, so it should just loop in perfect. <laughs> So, where are we going now? So we are going uh, to the place that gives me PTSD. This is basically a therapy for me. Uh, so I've done a, a, an amazing weekend with Jackmund. Um, 128 gig memory card full of sick stuff. 
and the last pack I wanted to get that shot and I ended up in the water uh, and Jack went in there for two hours in his wetsuit couldn't find it anywhere so we're going back there <laughs> so a little bit of advice if you've got loads of footage and SD card that you're flying over the ocean back it up before the wash on them coming across the top of those rocks water came in and went back and it met another wave I'm pretty sure it was in between those two there but it was definitely from between that and where this sticks out here. So your drone's somewhere down there? Down there, but it goes deeper, you see, into the yeah. rocks there. Yeah. But so the water was so high when we came and it was really choppy, bouncing back. And what happened was the water, water came in, a wave went back out as another wave came in. So it basically did that and just grabbed me straight out of the sky. Last pack, devastating. No way. That's so sick. The location we're at right now is Winds Pit Quarry. Obviously, we've got a nice big hole there just to dive through. So I'm going to try and come around with the drone, come through this little cave and then out, out of this area right here. Are right, you ready? So where are you going? You take it off and go in. You take off and I'll film it. And um, let's go around a little bit. Go on. And a perfect landing. Mate, <laughs> nice going through there, wasn't it though? Ooh. Yeah, that was that was sick man. Yeah. Alright, another successful right. pack. This is what happens when you fly FPV, you start getting the shakes. How does that feel? Incredible man. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. So we're heading back to the van and we're gonna head off to the next spot for sunset. How's that walk going so far? Uh, no mate, sweet. I not even broke a sweat, mate. I mate. think I have. <laughs> Feels like someone's turned the taps Mate, on in my hat. I'm drenched. I'm, I'm drenched in sweat. Mate, that was horrible. 25 minute walk in the scorching hot sun. There used to be a sign on this car on this playground saying Fly, fl uh, flying kites is prohibited. What cause that? Ready, yeah? Jack! We're going to Harry's Rock, mate. Let's do it! All right, the sun's starting to set. We're in a little bit of a rush. Also, the weather's cooled down a little bit, so it's a bit nicer now. The sun is setting and hopefully we get there in time. Oh, we're getting there. Right, slowly. I'm They're getting more excited now. Because it seems like uh, somewhere where, I mean, there's yachts and all sorts, boat, boat parties going on. So this is a place to gravitate to. So yeah, super exciting. I've wanted to come here for quite a while now, so. Sick, I didn't even know I was coming today, which is even better. Lighting's looking nice. I can already tell you, we're gonna get some sick shots at this spot. That walk wasn't as bad as the other one, and it's a little bit cooler. Hey, that is oh sick. <laughs> this is where we're standing on the edge of this. All right, let's go. Between the two trees, mate. I'm surprised you've never seen that instantly. Is that bottom hole okay to yeah, yeah, fly yeah. through? Yeah, you're fine. So the one down here, I won't yeah, be able to see yeah, yeah. Oh, I nearly fell off the cliff. Wait, this is well scary, man. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, mate. Go on. That's it comes gorgeous. straight up to us. 
You're making me dizzy, Jack. Got to set my goggles off, man. Fuck. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what the f How close does that be? Oh, yeah, yeah. Smash it. How close was it? Let me give you a 180. <laughs> you. <laughs> That's how close it was, man. Oh, that was nice. Hopefully, I only had one ND filter, which was a 16, so hopefully it looks good. So, we got here just in time for about one pack each, and now the sun has pretty much set. We've got some pretty crazy lights. Looks sick it right looks at like, the back. Looks like Great Britain, you know what I mean? The, yeah, like the yeah, shape, yeah, the like shape of the like cliffs looks natural. insane. Now the gap wasn't too bad. Is it? I just the water is scary. The way, did you? Yeah. But coming across there, mate, from that side straight across there, I must have been, I don't know, a foot and a half, 18 inches off the water. Yeah, oh, man, that's I was watching. That looked insane. If you want to see Neil's footage, you can go to his channel. What's your channel? Uh, my channel is on YouTube or Instagram. YouTube, well, YouTube. On YouTube, it is uh, Make It Mamba FPV. Make It Mamba FPV. Make stuff. I make all sorts of stuff. So go and check out the stuff I make. So shout out to Jack for taking us to these locations because they are sick, mate. He's so bloody ungrateful. I told my camera early, but now I'm going to tell you. So ungrateful. He just comes there and like, do you want to go to Harry's Rock? And he's going, hmm. It's, look at this place, beautiful. He just takes it for granted. But we need to find a park up for tonight. All right, so let me pause it right there. This is pretty much what happened. So I'm not going to lie. After this whole day of filming and shooting, I was absolutely done, mate. So the next day the plan was to head down to Dirtledore and get a few shots there but I pretty much fell asleep watching Neil fly. So I didn't film an outro to this video but hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did hit the like button, comment down below and make sure to subscribe. Enjoy this clip of me sleeping on the beach. Cinematic, cinematically relaxing. <laughs> it's a good shot mate, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it there for a minute. A bit of B-roll. <laughs>